As the saying goes, you are entitled to your own opinion, but not your own facts. And that applies to opinion writers, too. After the contentious women's U.S. Open final between Serena Williams and Japan's Naomi Osaka, virtually everyone weighed in, including people who know nothing about the rules of the game. Emily Rooney has more. To review, Serena was down, and at a critical moment, chair umpire Carlos Ramos issued her a warning for coaching. Later, she was penalized a point for smashing her racket. Then came this. And you stole a point from me. You're a thief, too. Code violation number three, costing her a whole game. If you follow tennis at all, you know those rules. They are inviolate. That's tennis commentator Mary Carrillo, who does know the rules, unlike half the opinion writers and analysts who viewed the code violations through identity politics. The intersection of stereotypes about women, but also stereotypes about black people, where being an angry black woman mm -hmm. is a problem. That's the way the Boston Globe's Renee Graham saw it, too, writing, never ever get upset or you'll be forever tagged as that most terrifying despised creature, the angry black woman. The Boston Globe's Janae Osterheld also saw it that way, writing, Williams was rightfully angry, not an angry black woman. Never mind that no one actually called her that. Serena is dead wrong. Carlos Ramos is not a sexist, he's not a racist, he's not a misogynist. One notable Serena defender was tennis icon Billie Jean King. But she viewed it as sexism, writing that, Serena was right to speak her mind, to put a voice to the injustice, something USTA President Katrina Adams acknowledged. Is there a different standard for women than men? In my opinion right now, yes, um, and it probably always has been. Still, the great Martina Navratilova was less sympathetic to the female angle, writing in the New York Times, we cannot measure ourselves by what we think we should be able to get away with. The fact that I have to go through this is just an example for the next person that has emotions and that want to express themselves. Maybe it didn't work out for me, but it's going to work out for the next person. Not unless there is a rule change about coaching during matches, racket slamming, and verbal abuse. This is such a tricky one. I have read a lot about this since the story unfolded. Uh, it's worth pointing out, I think, that Serena Williams, when she was going off on that umpire, did not say, you're doing this because I'm a black woman. She said, you're doing this because I'm a woman. She went with the gender explanation right off the bat. The piece that I found most instructive in terms of the way this played out was the Martina Navratilova story, which I think uh, was critical of Williams but did not totally exonerate the umpire. I think Navratilova suggested, okay, he had a chance at a certain point in this sequence to de-escalate, and he chose not to. But still, I wish she had pulled back a little bit. There's room for nuance here, another piece of nuance I want to bring up, and then I'll let you guys get in. Uh, my understanding is that this umpire has, in fact, penalized a number of men who've been very upset at their interactions with him, but has never taken a game away from one of those men. So I'm not sure it is as black and white a story as a lot of people rushed to make it. Those are my two cents. Well, uh, I count me as one of the people who were ignorant about the rules of tennis. Me too. Uh, however, I thought that Sally Jenkins' piece in the Washington Post uh, was excellent, and she is not ignorant of the rules of tennis. She's a sports columnist and a very good one. And the point that she made was when it came time for the third infraction, the verbal abuse, a better official would have just let her rant a little bit and gotten on with the game. And instead, he ended up making the match about him instead of the two players and uh, completely distorted the outcome. And even from the point of view of somebody who uh, is a tennis fan, it, it could be any sport. We hate it when umpires and referees make the game about themselves. And that's essentially what Sally Jenkins was saying that he did. And, and I think she's right. And I think that both Serena Williams and her opponent uh, ended up getting caught up in this in an unfair way as a result. Kelly, what do you think? Um, I think it's uh, very much black and white, as a matter of fact. Um, she doesn't have to say she's a black woman. She knows it. The problem is everybody else does not recognize the intersectionality of both of her identities, which were very much in play there. And by the way, it was in play with regard to Naomi Osaka, too, who is both Japanese and, and Haitian. Haitian. So there's a lot going on here about racial nuance and who is looking like the respectable black person and who is looking like the not-so-respectable black person. And since both 
both of them are women. Who's the respectable woman and who's the respe non-respectable woman? That's at play underneath this. Yes, that guy has uh, fined other men $1,500 in the face of a guy screaming and cussing at him, which... Serena Williams did not do. She was very angry with him, but she didn't cuss at him. Now, I don't know how you get $1,500 for using expletives and saying they had to bleep so much because you can't even hear what he's saying to the judge. The same one. Yeah, but she says, you're a thief, you cost me a point. And he's like, nah. you know, I'm taking the game away from you. Really? Come on. <laughs> I just, no. Can I take absolutely the opposite point of view right here? Ahead. And obviously I'm coming at this as a white male, but a white male who played college tennis and played competitive tennis for many years there. So I understand the rules of the game, but I also understand the etiquette of the game. And uh, I think this had nothing to do with race. I can't ever put myself in a situation like a Serena Williams, but I certainly have watched many people. Arthur Ashe, for instance, you could not find someone who would be a more, I think, um, uh, a better role model for tennis. The moment she smashed her racket, and started, uh, and she calls the referee a thief. How could she not expect some sanction? Because the rules call for a sanction. Well, it's, it's not automatic. Right? I, I mean, she, what she, the, she, what she, she got, thought she was going to get sanctioned. Yeah, not but the game taken away. Right. I mean, I think here, am I right, Tom? Yeah. Since, yeah. since you know the rules, right? yeah. am it's I right that when sanction. she was given the warning for coaching, which yeah. her coach said he did, she yeah. said, "I don't right. cheat. I, you know, I don't cheat she to win. Don't accuse me." But but he had he copped to doing it. Once that warning right. is given, then when the racket is smashed, the penalty for the point is automatic, right? That's right. right. No choice. That's right. 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 Yeah. Because it was that. the second. And then the yeah. third was when she uh, – it's disrespect for the umpire. Now, if that had happened as it's happened with other uh, – I mean, who uh, – John McEnroe, for goodness sake. I was just and wondering he's how many games he had been lost. Yeah. And he's taken a lot of penalties for mm -hmm. that over the years. And disrespecting the umpire was, mm -hmm. was a regular deal. But – but Did you get I games think, taken away? I th absolutely. No. But I think I uh, the problem was that. it was a critical game that put um, Osaka up five to three with her serve to win the, the, the entire thing. That, I think, I think Sally has a good point there. Perhaps the referee should have thought better. Do I want to go to, in effect, that's the death penalty? Or just pull back I even don't like, yeah. pull back a little. So I think there's a fault there. But for this to get turned into either a gender issue or a race issue, I find nonsense, honestly. No, sorry, right, sorry, sorry, Lila gets the last sorry. word. Then this is, we should have done 20 sorry. minutes on this. You got the last a, word. From then. a media standpoint, I would have loved to see a couple explainers about the rules of the game, the way the penalties are cumulative. There were some. But yeah. I, I didn't see them the same way I saw a lot of um, a lot of opinion columns that had to do with I'm offended or you shouldn't be offended. I just want to say this mm -hmm. one thing. Has there ever been a time when all of the umpires got together to say, oh, we're protesting somebody yelling at us? Ever. Ever. But what, how, uh, which, you know, all the group of umpires got, no, yes, no, no, that's very relevant when you start that's, talking about race and gender. That's, a, yeah. that's extremely relevant.